everyone. Now to uh, get ready to start sewing our pieces, we need to prepare them. So here, if you did the eyelid, then we're going to do this step. As you can see here, I've already done it for the other eye. Let me see if I can get that little C. So we're going to sew this here so it doesn't just flop around when we sew it onto the hat. It'll kind of stay in place and give it a little bit of shape. So here, what I'm doing in the back, okay, oops, let me get that tail out of the way here. We're going to put your yarn needle in the tail that you left. Remember, I told you to leave a tail. So when you do the stitches, it naturally kind of flattens this way. So we're going to put it here, and then I'm just going to grab through the gray. Don't go through the white. I don't want, so you don't want the white little gray to be showing there. And then we're going to go through several of them here. I mean, just we're going to sew that all the way across. It doesn't have to be super tight because this is just to keep it from flopping around. So kind of get that stitch there. See that? Go there. And now. And, and I already know I have a terrible, my nails look terrible and then I need a manicure. Someone keeps writing to me, you have to get a manicure before you do your videos. But I don't know if you guys know, I do a lot of organic gardening. i am been growing my a lot of my own, like summer food um, in my little back, in my little garden back, in my backyard. And so I go out there and then I also have to do housework. So unfortunately, if I waited until I got a manicure or fixed my nails, I would never... I probably never do videos because I'm out there every day. So here, where this tail is at, since it's so short to sew it, I'm going to stick it in here. Just kind of stuff it into into that little pocket there. Then I can put this down again and continue just finish sewing this side here. So here I go. When I get to the end here, I'm going to sew a little bit here so I don't want that thread to be coming out. So now I'm going to go back a little bit here, just on the edge. I'm going to make a little knot just to keep it from undoing. Right? And now I'm going to sew in or hide the tail into my work. Just don't want it to come out right there. Doesn't have to be really tight. And once you do that, you can just kind of tug on there. Go ahead and cut it. Be careful not to cut the other yarn. So here, the eyelid will stay in place when we sew the eye in place. It won't be flopping around or get caught on anything. But it will still give the eye shape. So we're all done with that. Go ahead and do that. I've already done my other eye. And you can also do this... Um, I started adding this to the owl beanie that I did, the owl tutorial, and I kind of like the way it looks. But, you know, not only if the eyes are open, if they're closed, then of course you wouldn't want the, the eyelid on there. So here, go ahead and finish the other ones. We'll come back and we'll start sewing the pieces onto our beanie. See how that looks? And it's going to be lots of fun. Okay, to f start finishing here, I'm going to go ahead and hide or sew in my tail. I'm just going to go in to my work and mostly more to the layer to the back. I'm going to pull it out, tug on it so it's not too tight, and then I'm going to cut that, being careful not to cut the beanie. And then my tail is sewn in. Okay, now here I'm going to start sewing the ears first. You could start any piece you want. I just think that once I do the ears, it gives me a good idea of where I'm at. I know that the tail was there, so I want this part to be to the back. That's going to be the back part for me. So then I'm going to get my yarn. I'm only going to show you how to do one because I still have to sew the, I mean, film a Spanish portion. And so here I'm just going to get once again my yarn, the matching yarn, okay, to the ears. And like I said, if you're going to be, um, you're going to see the, the right side because you can see the rows. This is the bottom or the bottom portion because they kind of look almost the same. If you did it this way, it looks more like a, 
a fox or a cat but you want to make sure your rows are going in a um, horizontal way okay and you could kind of shape it too if you're going to have the furry ears like this they're both the same you still would sew them to you would still sew them together and sew everything the same i'm going to do one hat uh with the fur and one without but that's i'm just showing you this this is hard to see you wouldn't be able to see any of the stitches so here i've already filled this out some people even put their heads on a little wooden form or whatever i'm going to use my rows or my rounds here as a guide i kind of folded this a little bit and i want the ears to be let's see here kind of not completely straight like that because then, then they look kind of like a cat i could go to kind of a little bit like this okay and you could kind of shape them with your hands too so i'm going to use this as a guide i'm going to go about the second the first little thing here see how the little circle i'm going to start there if you want you can pin them with a stitch marker i'm going to go in here and catch the bottom there oops i'm sorry i usually go in through the inside so that i could hide the tail so i'm going to go here grab that corner see if you can see it if it's focused enough actually it's going to go in there don't pull it all the way through then i'm going to go back in make sure you don't go through just the hole make sure you go catch a little bit of that and then once i go inside here right i go back in there's that other tail there's this the tail where i was sewing there now i could tie these together to make sure like a little knot to make sure it doesn't come apart and you could okay now you get your needle your first point is there and then here I'm going to move a little bit further back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use these when I lay it down. Like this. I'm going to kind of gather, do a stitch together. And I'll show you how I do that there. But you're going to use these rows. I started so now I know that my first stitch. Let me see if I can get this. Just to show you. Was the round one. So I started on that first row. Okay. I hope I'm not boring you guys. And I know that here when i count down i want this one my other year to cover the same amount of rows meaning i don't want to start here and come down here and then my other stitch my other one ended here you know what i mean you want them to be even so here i'm going to go one two three and probably that one two three and then at the beginning of the fourth will be or the the fourth one would be the last one or that whatever you're going to give you stretch them out it's up to you so i'm going to get my needle here and i'm going to start doing the same thing grabbing my yarn and you need to go through the yarn because there's just the holes it's kind of hard to see and you can stitch them as hard or as firmly as you need just grab that and go through grab it make sure you don't stitch this back part close meaning you don't sew it like that you want it to be open and if it's easier for you to keep your hand in there you can do that so here i don't want it to be flat i'm going to fold it a little bit i know i'm talking a lot and people say you talk too much but i want you to be able to do that in order to get it to kind of shape this way once you once I get to that point that's like the middle point, I kind of fold it a little bit right there, and then I'm gonna sew through there. And sew again. Kind of it's like so it's sewing a little pleat in there. It's not really big, see? Need to get it. Okay, that part didn't get caught there. And now it kind of gives it a little bit of that shape. Now I can finish sewing it on. Okay. Let me go back here. I'm going to move my needle and go back to where I was. I had taken the last stitch here. 
back out there there we go and I've shaped that ear like that just like that it's like sewing a pleat so now here now that I know that that see how it's gonna stay there I'm trying to kind of show you it's sorry guys I'm just I hope you could see that now that it's got that shape I know that here's my other point put it there and now I can continue sewing my ear on and it will keep its shape like that oops see what happened I lost the needle there if you guys already know how to sew and do sew the pieces on and all that you can skip forward but I want to make sure everybody gets this I'm gonna put it through there so my pieces on little ears on it's a nice shape there there so it'll keep the shape and now I can just continue until I get to the end So here we go. I love coming up with little patterns like um, usually my grandkids will ask me for something and that's how I come to what I'm going to be working on. I um, sometimes like right now they want my grandson Cesar, Cesar, we call it Cesar in Spanish. He wants a tiger hat so I'm going to, I'm um, actually figuring out how to do a tiger <laughs> little beanie for him so that's where my uh designs come from a lot of times just like okay he wants this kind of beanie and they want this so here now the ear is sewn on just like that so now when you see it from the side see how it gives it kind of more texture or uh, like a uh, shape instead of just sewing it completely flat like this it's okay if you want to do it that way but because it's still going to have a little bit of a curve because we put them both together but putting in that little pleat in there gives it a little bit more shape so I'm going to go ahead and put my needle in and usually you could give it a couple more stitches in the beginning and the end because that's where they tend to get more um, pressure put on them when kids wear them so now when you do that I'm going to go ahead inside and so make my little knot and I know I left kind of a long lot of yarn in there and then you could just kind of kind of hide your tail a little bit so it doesn't show everywhere it doesn't have to it just it's inside so it's not really gonna matter but you just don't want a bunch of yarn in there so there we go so that ear is sewn see that I like the way that's shaped now you're going to sew the other ear the same way. Make sure that you use your little rows here as a guide. So you would start here and then you go here and you know that oh, my ear has to end there. So if I just do it flat, it's going to go past that. See, so I want to make sure I start here and then I end in the same place. Remember to make your little pleat if you want to shape it that way. If not, you could do it straight. So I'll go, go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you how we put on the eyes. Okay everyone, when I was sewing the second ear, I noticed that it was kind of flopping around here on where I did the little crease, the little uh, pleat. So here, when the kid wears it, I don't want it to flop around. So what I did was that I just went into the inside of the beanie, grabbed here, and then I sewed that little end here grabbed it there went back inside and then just kind of tied it on let me show you what I mean uh oh oh no I pulled it too far okay that's good because then I could show you so if you could see the pleat there this one it was sewn well the other side wasn't but in case it starts flopping I'm gonna go in bring up grab that pleated area go back in to the inside hopefully this time I didn't put the yarn all the way through no I didn't 
and then once you do that just go ahead and tie it off and that is just kind of anchors the ear so they don't flop around as much but I kind of tend to okay so then the ears are done and having that little pleat gave them kind of a shape see how it kind of shapes it more like a actual ear so now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do um, usually I do the eyes and then the the nose and the snout last we're going to have to stuff this and then we're going to I'm going to come back show you how to sew those on and then we're almost and then we'll be done pretty much okay guys so now we finally have all our pieces done I know it kind of seems like a long process but once you do your first set first one or two it's going to go a lot faster usually what I like to do is stuff some of the batting I just use a polyester fiber fill I got this at Joann's but you can buy it at Hancock any kind any fabric store or sewing store so I just kind of stuff it a little bit to give me an idea how big it's going to be so that I can know I'm going to have enough space to do the um, the eyes so usually on the last row here I'm going to kind of uh, center it and put it right there. I don't want it hanging off the beanie because I still want to have something to uh, attach it to. So there. And so then I know that I'll have enough space for the eyes. Now the eyes, then once I know that here's where my eye is going to go, right there, I can move the nose. Oops, let me put it back there move the nose and when I do the eyes I like to pin them in place I thought it was pinned but I guess not so here unfortunately I couldn't find my safety pins so you want to hold it there so it doesn't you know go off this one's here and remember I said we need to have our dots going in the same direction so they are if you follow the directions to do your your um, eyelids if not make sure that the white spot is pointing in the same direction and now this one neat part about it is that you could kind of use the same rows on your hat to put your uh, eyes you don't want to put the eyes too far apart just about that is fine and then I'm gonna pin my other one in place I'm trying to be careful not to Hurt myself because these actually hurt so then you put your safety you see me you put your um, needle into the tail remember we left a white tail so we could sew this on this is already sewn on to itself so we just need to sew this white part down we don't have to worry about the gray anymore so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start here in the center right I'm going to come here and I'm going to sew through the top part, not this way. I don't want the gray to show or, you know, having white on the gray. So here I'm just going to go in and out. In. Well, so usually it's kind of thick, so there's my first one. Go in. Make sure you're catching, not just going like this, but you're catching. You don't want to just be, you know, sewing nothing to itself. Make sure you catch the gray. And then you go back up through the white okay so now we won't have like gray marks there you're going to continue that way till you get to this other white spot okay and then you're going to stop so that we could put a little bit of fiber fill if you want to put fiber fill if you don't then just go ahead and continue all the way through the white to the back here okay but I'm going to put a little bit of fiber fill just to give it a little bit of shape not a lot I don't want them to have buggy eyes or <laughs> bug eyes like the monster had but and here I'm using that line here I'm going to use that row as my place to where to put my bottom of my eye so you can use these rows as a guide the rows of the um, that you did your um, rounds so your rows of your so here I'm going through coming up if it's too hard sometimes it's getting kind of hard to go through there it's okay to go all the way down 
See, I want to make sure I'm staying on that line. I don't want to go past it because then my eye will be stretched out. And that's not what we want. I tend to lose the yarn here, so let me put it here. I'm going to go there. If you guys already know how to sew the eyes, you can go ahead and skip this part. I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets it. So. So I'm coming almost to the, that part where I'm going to stuff it. This is going to be, I'm going to have to just do it one by one so that I could put my hand in there and not sew it shut. Okay. Oops. See how that I almost lost the yarn there. So here, when I come up here, I'm going to catch it, but only the white part, not the gray. See that? And if you want to just close it like that, you can. So now that that's in there, I want to give it a little bit of shape, not a lot. That's why I didn't stretch the eye, okay? So I'm just going to get very little, very little of this fiber fill. And I'm going to gently, a little bit at a time, that might be too much, Stuff it a little bit in there. Don't stuff it so much where it stretches out the eye. That's not the idea. Remember, we just want to give it a little bit just like that. This one's going to be flat. See, we just want to give it a little bit of a shape. You don't have to stuff it too hard because, you know, because a child's going to be wearing it and you want it to be comfortable. Or if an adult's wearing it, you still want it to be comfortable. So I think that's enough. See how I just kind of stuffed it a little bit? You could see how it's bumping up, but not too much. I think that's that'll do. And now, once that's stuffed in there, I'm going to finish sewing my eyes down, eye down using this row as a guide. I can move the eyelid down. It's not going to show right now. And see that? going to finish go all the way across and this is the same way you're going to sew the other eye on and unfortunately you do have to sew some people say they don't like sewing anything but I don't really consider this sewing because I just enjoy it so much so I've gotten to the other corner right now you can't see that it's popping out too much well you can kind of see it a little bit See how it kind of pops out the eye there? The eye fell off, so I'll have to do it again. Just like that. And when you see the side, it's kind of coming up. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go to the inside of my hat where I don't have to worry about stitches showing. See, if you stretch it too much, this is going to show a lot. But this is on the inside. That's not a big problem. So, oops. I just... Lost the yarn off of the needle. So these are all just the finishing touches and you guys are almost ready to celebrate. <laughs> so here I'm just going to make a knot. And in this one I'm just going to hide my yarn in the actual batting. Pull it out and then cut it. So the first die is sewn on there. If I look at sideways, you could see that the eye, if you see it, it's a little bit out, but not really popping like the eye monster eye, okay? And then the eyelid's done. That's the same way you're going to sew on the other eye. Right now, this came off, so I'm going to have to use my guidelines here. Like I said, I know that my first stitch was here, the first part of it, the top part. So there, it's going to go there. And the bottom one was there, so that's the right place. I'm going to... Pin it on, make sure it holds there. The eyebrows can be touching, that's fine. Just like that. The, not the eyebrows, the eyelids can be a little bit just like that. I'm going to sew the second one on and we'll come back. And then all you have to do is sew this on all the way around the circle and you'll be done. Okay, everyone, I put more stuffing in here. You don't have to do it more. I think I put too much. Let me take some of that out. It's getting a little bit too fat. I just wanted to be able to hold the shape without being weird. So here now I'm just going to get my yarn and put it through the 
the, the tail that I had, remember, and put it through there. Oops. Okay, that wasn't good. Let's try again. I should edit that out, but I won't. <laughs> there you go. So, here we go. So now all you're going to do, remember that I used this last line, the little row of our beanies. And I'm going to try to center it kind of in the middle there where the lip or the mouth portion was, the embroidery. I'm going to put it there, just there. And then the same way you sewed on the eyes, I'm going to sew on the mouth. I'm not going to completely do it because I still have to film the other uh, tutorial, the Spanish tutorial. But see, I think I put a little, might have put a little bit too much stuffing. Yep, I'm going to take some out. I don't like them to be so hard because I still want you to be able to be comfortable wearing it. So here, I'm going to put it there. And then the same way here, you can just do a whip, whip stitch because it won't matter. It's gray on gray. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to show. It's going to hide into the stitches. So here, you can just go ahead and start sewing it all the way around. Just like that. I'm going to sew it, finish it. I'm not going to demonstrate how to sew this part because we're sewing it the same way. Actually, it's a lot easier because I'm just going to put it here, go through. And in this one, you could just whip it around like this. No problem. I'm going to just show like that. See that? It's a lot easier than the eyes because you don't have to worry about the white showing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. Then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so here I'm just started sewing it. And all you need to do is just, this one you can whip stitch because it's just gray on gray. I did put a pin here to kind of, I don't want to go higher than that or too much further low. So I just put it there to kind of guide me. And now I'm just going to be sewing it around. I'm not going to have any sound for this portion because that way I could use it for both of the videos and you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm just whip stitching around and you use whatever stitch is more comfortable for you. When you can see the wolf is done i sewn all his uh features on he's all ready to be enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm sorry about the light right now it's a little dark anyway be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so hit the like button please help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and your family and asking them to subscribe i hope you have a great day and remember always that god loves you